And while those negotiations take place, one local farmer has resigned himself to the idea of a casino in Middleborough. Things like not being able to see the stars because of so much light pollution, not being able to, uh, the noise level changes that happen when, when things like this happen. Uh, there, there are certain qualities of life that, that are somewhat hard to measure, but you know they're there. As for selectman Adam Bond, he hopes Middleborough eventually lands the gaming resort even if it means becoming a casino company town. What happens at town meeting? You got a town meeting with an 800 pound political gorilla sitting in it where I gotta tell you the political process can begin to be controlled by casino interests. Meanwhile lawyers for both the state and the tribe are trying to determine if a green light from the legislature is necessary in order to open the casino. Until that happens, Middleborough officials will have to find other ways to bring in revenue for the cash-strapped town. All right, and with me now are Richard Young, who opposes the Middleborough Casino, and Hal Brown, who favors it. Welcome, both of you. Thank you very much. Richard, you were on the fence, and you've decided now that you oppose the casino. Why? Um, what had happened was I had initially started with Casino Facts and had w viewed the website and went through what the real cost of a casino would be. A casino increases crime in your community, local revenues decrease, businesses get hurt because the money actually is going to the casino rather than local businesses. The other problem lies for the townspeople, you saw the piece, the selectmen have, are looking through rose-colored glasses. They're only looking at the bottom line of seven million. They have not begun any negotiations or interest in what the problems it would cause. For example, no one knows how many cars will come to the casino. No one knows what the casino will look like. And we were expected a week ago to vote to allow a draft agreement with none of those proposals in it. Is the money, do you think, enticing you into this? I know you're a proponent. Well, I think it's the quality of life that the money buys, not the money per se. If we're talking about schools being cut uh, to the extent of losing 30 teachers, uh, Council on Aging, the library where my wife works, the Parks Department all being cut from 10 to 30 percent, uh, library losing its certification. But we've Those heard this before from cities and towns, and they've seemed to have managed without uh, well, Middleborough, building a casino. They've talked about crying wolf, and Middleborough has come up with the money at the last yeah. minute, and people have been very cynical about that. But there's, the pot is dry. There's no more land to sell for gravel. There's no miracle that our selectmen can pull out of a hat. Uh, there are definitely quality of life issues. 